Welcome to Create with Mrs. H. We're going to colorize this picture of this beautiful lady who just passed away, Raquel Welch. You know her from movies and from TV, and I happen to know her because she has the most beautiful, beautiful wigs. And <laughs> she was just such a dynamo. So I thought we would spend some time and just colorize her picture. Here is a picture I was able to found that is free to use. And then I did it with AI. I colorize it and we're going to just clean this up to make it look a little more realistic than what the AI can do. So I go to pickmonkey.com, which is picmonkey.com, and I go to touch up. And the quick way to do it, if you can get away with it, is the spray spray tan. And this sort of will just colorize it quickly. You can take the dropper and try to match the color a little bit. There we go. It's a little better. And we're just we're trying to get those parts that are like gray and blue. And it's just, it's just not, it's not her beautiful coloring. So we're going to, this picture is a little bit pixelated. So I, you know, I feel like you can maybe get a cleaner picture out there of her, but I wanted to do this with one that I was, you know, free to use and stuff like that. So we're going to do that. And already you see some improvement apply. Now we can go ahead and I'm just, what is this here? We'll just do a little spot there. Spot. Just kind of spotting around here. Again, taking my little dropper, trying to match the skin tone. That way you don't have to reinvent the wheel and guess what the skin tone is. You can just sort of try to match it. You can also just do a big filter. We can try that later. Okay, that'll just do like a big effect. So I'm looking for highlights. We can try brown here. And let's just see how that looks. We just kind of want to bring it to life. The AI is so good. Oh, it's so amazing. But we really, you know, it still needs that human touch. And you really can go so many different ways with these things. So you try to just go with what your gut is and try to make it look, try to make it look realistic. So I'm going to make my size a little smaller. This is like a little relaxing therapy. Just so fun bringing the past to life. And uh, this, her memory will live on. People loved her. And it's just such a, shows you that at any age, you can just be a star. And she was just a star all the way until now. You know, she's and she'll always be a star. Okay, so we added that. If we want, we could add like, you know, you could add little blonde highlights and stuff like that. I'll just show you what that looks like. Little gold. Again, it looks just a little more realistic now. A little sun kissed. I just like this. This is actually a picture, I think, from SNL. Okay, so her lips are just not looking like they are the color that I think they w were actually. So even though I have lipstick, I like to use eyeshadow. And let's just grab a red. Okay, I'm gonna make this a little smaller, my brush. I'm just using a mouse, I don't even use a stylus. So let's see how it works. Um, I'm not really seeing this come out. Let me see if I can, I can fade this more. Hmm, where is it? And I'm gonna strengthen the color. Whoa, now I see, now I see it. Okay, so you're gonna see it at first and then I'll fade it. So sometimes it looks so weird before you fade it, but at least I can see where I put it on so I can fix my boo-boos. There we go. In, gonna give it a little point there. Out. There we go. And maybe just a little here. Isn't she beautiful? Okay. I want to honor her with this picture. I'm going to fade this out. And there we go. It looks a little better there. And let's grab some teeth whitener because this is just the way the AI did it quick. Oops. I don't need to be doing it in the mouth. 
sometimes I have to remind myself of these things. When I was young, I loved watching this to the eyes, Bob Ross. I just found it so relaxing to watch him. So I like to think that this is sort of in that, in that spirit of just getting away from it all for a little while for, for y'all, I hope. And for me. Okay. So let's do a little blush and I don't, you know, I just, I like to just bring a little bit of color there. Okay, let's do here and apply. So her thing, her dress or apron, whatever it is, I think it needs to be whitened up. So just go around the corners. It's like when you're coloring when you're little. You always do the outline first. That's my trick. If you do the outline first, then you can go willy-nilly and just do nice big strokes and it's easier to get it done. So now watch, not that big <laughs> and there we go. Okay. Let's add some eye tint. Um, I'm not sure what her eyes are. So I'm just going to add a tad of blue and see how that works. And then I'm going to fade it out and there we go. All right. Uh, let's add just a little bit of eye bright in this. puts like a, that little white in the eye. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. Now I don't usually do the eyebrow pencil, so let me just see how I do this. I'm gonna just do the eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna fade it, fade it, fade it. Let's go ahead and fade this big time. I might have to just do that again. Okay, let's do this just a little more. How does that look? I think I can fade it just a little more there and bring down the strength of it. I want to make sure I don't have any missed spot because she's just so beautiful. Okay. Again, we're just trying to give that realistic look. So now a nice little shortcut I like to do is go to effects and then you can play around and find the one there's Tuscan that just looks good. Before I do that, let's, let's airbrush her because of the pixelation. Otherwise I wouldn't do it because she's just so beautiful, but because this is an older photo, I'm going to do it. Okay. And you see that looks good. Okay. Effects. We're just going to try different ones now. Orton, one of my favorite, favorite ones because it just looks like a spotlight on you. And I just love it. Intrepid is really nice. So that might be one we use. So remember Intrepid and Tranquil. Mm, this kind of looks a little too 70s, I feel like. So Dusk. Hmm. If I fade Dusk, what do you guys think? I think maybe Dusk. So here it is with Dusk. And let me go back. Here it is without boost we can fade it mm, nah vignette is where we can do like the corners good i don't think it has a more a dramatic enough effect so what did we say intrepid i i do like intrepid i tend to like things very saturated though so you guys everybody's always like you saturate so much i'm like i know Everybody looks good saturated color changer and I'm going to desaturate just a little so nobody says anything. And I think I need some more red for the cheeks. So let's go back to touch up. And it's like I said, it's not an exact science or anything, but we just want to, we want it to just flatter the person. Okay. Let's see. Can I, make, can I go darker? Okay. So again, you can go as dark as you want and then you can just always fade it. All right. How about some eyeshadow for her eyes? Like actually using eyeshadow. So we can, let's go for like maybe purple or something like that. 
and then we'll fade it like I said it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be up fading things okay let's go ahead down and fade nice and maybe just a little touch on the lips again I feel like I have to talk quiet because I'm doing such a little line <laughs> okay awesome awesome and let's try let's do the touch up and we can go to airbrush one more time just to see what it would look like if we airbrushed again you know I feel like it just looks too strong I feel like you're not seeing the details so let me bring that down I'm gonna take off the airbrush uh, we can try intrepid for the effects and there we go okay so this is the finished colorization again it's for fun I went to the store today Hobby Lobby and they had a whole section of like movie poster the movie lights and these are the kind of things I would love to have around my house when you give me a shopping spree okay Hobby Lobby you listening <laughs> And I would love to just like print out these pictures and put them around my house and just, it would just make me happy. It's all about just bring, doing the things that bring you joy. And she brought a lot of joy and she will definitely be missed. So let's go ahead and see the effects of how it looks like in the black and white. And this is a little more airbrush, so it's a little different and that's beautiful. And then here it is in color. I am so glad you joined me. Please click like if you enjoyed the tutorial. This is PicMonkey, P-I-C-Monkey dot com. I think they have a free trial. And uh, this is Mrs. H. And I just had fun spending time with you in our little relaxation, get away from it all time. Bye-bye.